At some point in your college career, you're going to need to email your professor, probably because you want something. Today, we'll cover how to compose a clear and concise email to help you get what you want. First off, you should always start your email by addressing your professor using the name and title that you know they want you to use. When in doubt, default to the more professional title. Saying something like, Dear Professor Smith is going to go over a lot better than, Hey, Karen. Additionally, beginning your email with a conversational introduction will never go amiss. You can ask your professor how their weekend was, you can thank them for a recent lecture, and if you're in doubt about what to say, you can just say, I hope this email finds you well. I love it when an email finds me well. It's just the best. Now, guess who enjoys reading email? Nobody. Seriously, it's awful and nobody likes it. So do your professor a favor and get to the point. If you're going to miss class, you can say so. If you have a question, come right out and ask it. If you are going to miss class, don't write a novel explaining why. Just be concise and tell the professor why you can't make class and be wary of sharing too much information. Because you're probably emailing your professor to ask for something, always offer to go the extra mile yourself. If you missed class, offer to meet with a classmate to see what you missed. If you have questions, offer to meet your professor during their office hours. And if you're not sure what else to say, saying something like, please tell me if there's anything else I can do, is always a safe bet. Now that we're finished, we want to end the email with a professional sign-off, saying something like, all the best, or sincerely, or thank you for your time, all work really well here. Now that the email is written, reread it, then reread it again. You want to make it as easy as possible for your professor to say yes to whatever you're asking for. Lastly, write a short and relevant title. Something like, can't make rhetoric on Friday is a lot better than can't make class. And that's all there is to it. By following these steps, you will write a short, succinct, and relevant email that will help you get what you want from your professor. For more helpful tips in composition and speaking, please subscribe to our channel below. Thanks for your time.